Hi, this is Julie with Bita Halik, and I want to show you how to make this geometric pyramid using bar chain. This is a design by one of our designers, Carlin, and the moment I saw it, I knew I had to do a video. And so I want to show you how to do it. So I had cut myself a foot of bar chain to start, and I actually have made one pyramid out of it already. So I'm going to be able to make a second one out of a single foot of bar chain. This is 19 millimeters. The bead I'm using, I'm going to capture inside of it is 12 millimeters. I'm going to need a head pin and for me I want to put a little bit of a, a little ball right here like a little spacer ball just to fill in a little bit of a gap there to that would show the exposed wire. You don't have to but I, I just wanted to so it's a little tiny bead. So to begin we're going to form the base of our pyramid and we're going to need three bar links to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the jump ring that connects the bars. So these are open jump rings, meaning they are not soldered, which is going to allow me to open them and use them just like any other jump ring. So now I'm gonna take that while it's still open and make a triangle. Okay, close it back up. So I've got the bottom of my pyramid. Now I'm going to need three more links to complete my pyramid. So at first I'm going to separate out the three more links. I'm just going to put their jump rings aside for right now. So I got three separate links now, and now I need to start to build up my pyramid. So I'm going to carefully open the jump ring that is attaching two of the bars together already. Open it, attach a third bar, and close it back up. There's one. I'm going to do the same thing with another one. So go to the other side. Find the opening. It can be a little hard to see. These are tiny. And I actually have this a little further away from my eyeballs than I would normally if I wasn't doing this in a video. There we go. Close it. Okay, so now we've got basically a triangle with two bars coming off of two sides. And actually, as you're making this, you might think of a whole bunch of other projects to do with this. I know I did. I was like, oh, that'd make a lovely earring, just like, like this, hang some beads from those bars. A lot of different ideas actually came to mind as I was making this which is part of the fun of jewelry design. You never know where your creativity will lead you. So I'm gonna attach this third bar and then close it. Okay, so there is a bar attached to each side. Now what I have to do is I have to form my pyramid. And I'm gonna do that using one of these jump rings. So these are the jump rings that came with the bar and I'm going to carefully attach it to all of my bars. There's two, and I gotta pull up the third one. There we go. And close it. And there, we have a pyramid. So now to get the bead inside, you're actually gonna put the bead inside the pyramid before you put the head pin on it. There we go, so we just captured it right there. And you wanna make sure that the hole is facing the mid part of one of the jump rings. So now we're gonna take our head pin, go up through the bottom, 
And then I want that little gold bead on here just to fill in that gap. So you could go like this and that would be perfectly fine, but you can see you see the bar. And so just, you don't have to add this other little element, but you can if you want to. So I'm just gonna slip that bead on there, carefully pull it back and go up through the middle of that jump ring. So we have a captured bead inside the pyramid and now I'm just gonna make a wrapped wire loop and I'm gonna do it with wire looping pliers. I feel like they give me a little bit more of a secure grip because I'm gonna hold this wire in the wire looping pliers for the entire time I do my wrapping versus switching to perhaps a chain nose to hold that loop as I make my wraps. So I'm just going to hold it and wrap a couple times and snip off the excess wire with the flush cutters and then tuck that tail in like so. And there we have a captured bead inside of a geometric pyramid using bar chain. And I have to thank Carlin for this idea because it is so clever and I never would have thought to have done that. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can find all the supplies along with other videos at beadaholic.com.